It's wall breaker season! Here we go! Flooding with wall breakers! Yes, how to learn about wall breakers today. That is it. Look at them coming! Go, 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 go! Blow it up, blow it up! Oh, amazing. I love it. Today we're talking about wall breakers, how to use them properly. Listen up. Watch the video to the end. This is going to be very important. So when you're dealing with wall breakers, they will go to the nearest available defensive structure. So if it's in a box right there, that square, they will go immediately to the cannon on the corner, without a doubt. So what I'm going to show you, how do you get around that? Well, pretend that's a golem. You're dropping down some wizards. You want to create where your wall breakers will go. Once that structure, that cannon is gone, now that you drop the wall breakers, look, they're going towards the next defensive structure towards the uh, the walls. They're not going to hit where that blank space is. Very important when you're trying to figure out how many wall breakers to bring. Now, this is when you drop, say, a golem or a giants. Do not drop the giants or golem on the corner and bring the wall breakers on the same corner that wizard tower take look at that takes out will take out those wall breakers very bad move i see it all the time do not do that make sure you have some space here is actually a good funnel this is what you should do when you're bringing in wall breakers first drop the golems then the wizards do not drop the wall breakers too soon what happens is your golems get too far inside the base without wizard support and here comes the wall breakers at the perfect time. He actually should have brought an extra one. Look, the north the golem's going to have to come south. That could have caused disaster, leaving his wizards uh, open to, to being killed. So you don't need that. And there's the jump, perfect jump spell. You don't need earthquakes here. You save that extra space for the heal. Um, perfect go hog attack here, right into the core, just enough. And here comes the hogs. He got the three star. That's how you do it. You got to be smart. Now, this is not a proper use of earthquakes at the Town Hall 9. The reason being is his <laughs> wall breakers could have done the same amount of damage um, as that earthquake. And in his ground attack didn't do anything. That's why he didn't get the three star. The problem, look at that. Those golems are going to go all the way into the core of the base all alone. Look at the wizards. They have to clear out the storages, all those hit points before they even get to defensive structures. The wizards are doing nothing and the golems are doing nothing. He has to drop a heal spell. Look at that. A waste of a heal. Can't use it for the hogs. Look, the king and queen are not doing well. Not a good funnel, but still, nonetheless, now the wizards get into the defensive structures. Look at that. His golems are dead almost dead completely in the dragons the problem is he didn't lure the dragon as well the clan castle spells doom doesn't matter how good of an attacker you are if you do that this is why you use wall breakers instead those earthquakes he could have had an extra heal spell for his hogs and he would have gotten a three star and he didn't get the three star he should have gotten the three star there but he didn't he didn't have any heals left don't bring those earthquakes at the town hall eight i don't see it benefiting at all at town hall eight you don't need it bring the extra heal for the hogs in this attack, the same sort of principle. The problem is, yes, you create a nice funnel, nice and tons of room for the golems, but you only have one golem. He has some Valkyries, which I eh, don't really need those there. Uh, the problem is he's going to drop the uh, golem now, but just as before, the golem's going to be all alone while those wizards try to take out the storages, all those structures in front. Look at the dragons already on the golem, destroying it. So in essence, the ground attack is pointless terrible he does get the three star here but just barely and i mean it could have been way better he had to eat ways to heal on the first part of his raid you don't need to do that save the heal for the hogs that's why you don't need the earthquakes if he just brought extra wall breakers he would have done the same amount of damage um because the hogs are really the key to this attack at the town hall eight look he needed a heal there look how dangerous it was he almost didn't get that three star any giant bomb or anything like that would have spelled doom for this attack it would have been over right here we got earthquake this is not what you do you don't need earthquake there jump so can jump over that and the problem here at this he does bring in um, some giants but he doesn't have enough wall breakers look at this only three wall breakers that is not enough and look he put the mortar takes them all out in one splash damage again don't do that you got to separate the giant or the golem from the wall breakers and he does get the three star Chris here, but it could have been dangerous. He wasted spells on the earthquake. All those giants there are stuck on the wall. So the, they didn't do anything. The The earthquake didn't do anything at all. Do not use earthquake. Town Hall 9, it's iffy right here. Case in point. Good with the lurk of the clan castle, but you don't need the earthquakes. Look at that. 
wall breakers would have done the would have done the exact same thing yes they wouldn't have opened up the core of the base but as we'll find out very soon this is what's going to happen the golems are going to be by themselves pretty much luckily the uh clan castle did meet out uh, and come out kind of quickly and the wizards would have take out the clan castle now but look he wasted a heal spell already you wouldn't have to do that if you just brought wall breakers and look so he's going into the core of the base things are going well his heroes are funneling actually pretty nicely there right into the core but the golems are still alone they're not getting any support and as he goes into the core so in the end he's going to take out pretty much nothing with this attack He's going to take out one Tesla by using the Earthquake. One Tesla. That is not worth it. The Cogs are coming in, but he doesn't have any heal spells left. If he had three heal spells towards the in this raid, he would have succeeded and he would have gotten the three star. He didn't get the three star because he didn't have heal. Look at that. The Golems only took out a Tesla and the King. One Tesla in the core of the base. One Tesla. Nothing else. That wizard, um, that archer tower, I mean the uh, expo went down only because of the hogs there but see do not bring those um, earthquakes this is actually another good attack look what he does he holds off on the wall breakers he only needs two but look he holds off he's actually a little early but still a nice funnel just just enough where those wizards took out the structures first and then he was able to activate some giant bombs and again perfect jump shot on the middle don't need earthquakes at all saving it for the extra heal anyways that's how you do it. Wall breaker strategy. You need to know how to do it to succeed. Thanks for watching again. I appreciate it. See you next time.